Time for another episode of Stump a Partner. All right, it's time for America's slowest growing game show, Stump a Car Nerd. We're featuring today Alanis King, noted automotive writer, journalist. Now, did you work on cars as a kid? I did not, actually. I got free NASCAR tickets when I was 12 years old, right. and I went and I saw them, and I said, that's what I want to do with my life. All right, very good. Are you ready to play? You put the blindfold on, and by using all your senses rather than sight, you have to guess what the car is. Here Absolutely. You go. You put all right, on. I'm putting this on. There goes all my makeup I put on. Wow, can't see anything. Well, that looks fine. Our first car is a 1966 Lincoln Continental, a classic American luxury convertible. With a retractable hardtop roof, it's one of the last four-door convertibles to be sold in the United States. The ride is so smooth, you might as well be driving a sofa with 340 horsepower. Valued at about $50,000 today, this car is a unique time capsule survivor. Let's first blow the horn. It okay. sounds like a train. <laughs> it does sound like a train. All right, let's open the garage door. I'm going to turn you around here. Okay. Move forward. Okay. okay. Oh, no. Oh, oh. I, I hit it. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is a very sharp line right here. Right. Any idea what era? We got these wings back here. Right. Yeah, it's a very 50s, 60s thing. Okay. Are we getting in it? Yeah, we are gonna get it. He, so once you work around to the door again. Oh, no. there's not a roof. There's not a roof. That's exciting. Ooh, this is very cushy. This feels American. It is American. Oh, this is fun. I love this. It's very quiet. I'm gonna wait until we go over some bumps and see what the suspension is like. You just went over a couple, there you go. I did, so, yeah, are you serious? This is... this is very pillowy. Okay, well that actually makes me lean more American luxury then. Okay. We're in the 60s. -ish. Okay, 60s is correct. 60s is correct. Right. Okay. Right. I am leaning toward either Cadillac or Lincoln mm. here. It's so quiet and so smooth. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Are the door handles. Mm, okay. Lincoln Continentals are known for having door handles that meet like this. So are we in a Continental? 66. 66 Continental, that's your guess? Yeah. Take off the blindfold. That's correct. Oh my God. You got it. There are you are. There you are. It's incredible. I'm so glad I got the first one. You don't want to get too cocky, though. I don't want to get too cocky. No. Absolutely not. I'm told it gets harder from here on out. Well, let's put the blindfold on. Let's get the blindfold on. Okay. Can't see anything. All right. Our next car is a 1959 Austin Healey Sprite, nicknamed the Bug Eye in the United States or the Fraga if you're in the UK. Its ultra simple design made it a sports car that could fit any budget. Valued today at around $8,000, this quirky no frills car is remarkably strong with its four cylinder engine and a whopping 45 horsepower. Okay, hang on, don't walk into the door. Don't walk into the door. There you go. Okay, oh, good grief. There's a lot of roundness here. A lot of roundness. And we have these like little pointy tail lights. Little pointy tail lights. Are we in the 70s? No. We're not in the 70s. Are we still in the 60s? No, no. Are we in, are we in the 50s? You're in the 50s. We're in the, I, okay, okay. All right, head back the other way and I'll, open the, the, I'll way. open the door for you. Okay, so we're in the 50s. This is great. Okay. Thought we'd do something from like 2015. No, we got the 50s here. It, it's extremely small. Are you shifting? I am shifting right here. You are shifting. Yeah. Oh, yes. I am going to go out on a limb and yeah. say Fiat. No. Dang it. Oh, man, I'm stuck. OK. It sounds too loud to be a Fiat, but it's very small. Is it a four cylinder? Four cylinder. It is a four cylinder. It's really loud. I want to say either Italian or German. I'm going to say Italian. No, that'd be wrong. So is it German? That'd be wrong. Oh, well, where it is. Wow. What other countries are there, Jay? There are more countries. There are more countries than just Germany and Italy? Oh, this is so hard. We oh. probably got more sports cars from this country in the 50s than any other. Britain? British, correct. OK, well, British. that helped. Uh, I'm trying to think of something that's small and British that isn't an Aston Martin Signet. Uh, All right, take off the blindfold. I'm giving up. You win. You win. What, a, what is it? It's a bug eye sprite. Man, that was hard. Yeah, that was a hard one. Tiebreaker. I'm 
ready. I don't even have a face, it's just all hair. Oh, there you go. Yeah, no face. There is a lot of pressure yeah, right now. Yeah, the yeah. first one was good, the second one was, yeah. wow, we just went downhill. Well, let's put the blindfold on. Let's put the blindfold on, let's see what happens here. Our last car, a 2017 Ford GT. Inspired by the GT40 race car of the 1960s, this is an authentic American supercar. With 647 horsepower and a V6 engine, you'll find the Ford GT as an MSRP around $500,000, but this car has appreciated over 1 million because it was number 12 off the production line. Let's blow the horn. Okay. This feels more modern, huh? Oh, okay, let's open the door. I'll, I'll guide you in here, see Here we go. All right, you're right there. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna make the same mistake I did last time. Last time I did not feel enough. Right. Okay, this is very pointy. Very pointy? Some supercar vibes here. Okay, let's get you in the car. I'm in, I'm in. Not quite there. Oh, we are low to the ground. Let's start the engine. Let's and start you... it. Oh, that's beautiful. I believe this is an American supercar. I'm thinking we're in the, the V6 territory here. V6 territory, mm -hmm. all right. We're downsizing, you know, the eras of the V12. And there aren't many V6 American supercars. So you want to take a guess? Yes, it is a current gen Ford GT. That's correct, yeah, take a Yay! very good, very good. <laughs> wow. Very good. Yes. Well, the first generation, was a road car that looked like a race car. Yes, exactly. This one is a race car that's been detuned to be a road car. Yes, and uh, that's a really, really nice kind of car. Yeah. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> well, thanks for playing Stump a Carner. Absolutely! There we go. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hey, be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more clips previews and compilations of things we've done on the show, so check it out.